This Frankenstein looking little white box is essentially just a guitar pickup and a jack. I mean, I say essentially, that is what it is. That's all that's in here in this old glasses case. So I was thinking recently about an episode of the White Rabbit Project where they talked about a way of music streaming where they would have wheels spinning over a pickup and that would give you the pitch and that would go down your telephone and you could listen in to music. What if I had a similar pickup and could hold it up to things around me to hear what these would sound to hear what they would sound like through a pickup. So after a bit of soldering and melting a old glasses case, this is the device I came up with. It's essentially a single coil pickup with a jack output. And I'll probably 3D print, I'll probably design and 3D print an actual case for it at a later date. I want to see what I have around me that I can make music out of. Okay, so I'm all wired in. I'm just going into my little Focusrite solo here off screen, uh, and I'm recording into my computer up there. So first, we're, we're yeah. First thing we're gonna try is this little USB Dremel tool or rotary tool. So what I'm gonna try, I don't know how good my vocal mic's gonna be. I'm just gonna move it up close to it to get different envelopes, and then we can do something with it. And now I'm going to try a hard drive, so this is my original idea. And I planned this really artsy project where I record music onto the hard drive while well, the actual like sound of the hard drive is being recorded to the hard drive, and that's what I make the music with. This is not going to be as artsy, I'm just going to punk it on top. That's cool. So we can obviously hear like uh, the electrical noise there. So you can bring up the gain and unplug. That's cool. I think we can definitely use it. And just off camera, I have a metal lamp with springs. So I'm going to mess around in Ableton now with some of these sounds and see what I'm going to do. So that's a quick little song I made, just using some of these samples. Uh, I'm not going to finish it into a fully fetched thing now because I have to upload this video by tomorrow evening, but I can see myself working on it further down the line. So yeah, I think this little device that I've made, I'm going to give it a proper name at some point, fits my sort of music making ethos that is you do not need fancy gear or equipment or a lot of money to make good music. This came out of a guitar I got when I was a kid that like cost nothing and that's including the amp that came with it kind of thing. It's one of them like guitars. Uh, and the glasses case came through with my glasses, do you know? Um, I definitely think a nice 3D printed case for this so I can somehow even mount it to my H1. So then I have a bit of like a recording kit kind of thing. Uh, I can see myself going around the house and just recording something cool. So anything like the washing machine or the tumble dryer, anything where there's something spinning, I think would sound really cool. And because this is magnetic, like the pickups. Do I have anything that's metal? 
like the pickups will grab onto anything so it could probably stick it I don't know how that would work we'll have to see in fact you could probably even do something if you took either just a regular DC motor or you rubbed something and mounted so it's always going to be picking up the sound and just run a resistor like a variable resistor to the motor and then you have like a synth you can variate the pitch of and if you make that a light dependent resistor or proximity sensor you could make a theremin type thing a whole bunch of stuff to mess around with with this one simple idea in fact now i'm thinking if i made that synth i could run it through some guitar effects and like make something really really cool the song i made is nothing fancy it's like just over a minute long uh, all the sounds by the vocals are from the recording I did of Random Things. Chords for the vocoder and the bass line are going into Wavetable to make them a bit more kind of periodic, whereas the rest is just in Sampler. But yeah, if you like random experiments like this kind of thing, be sure to subscribe. Fair warning, I make very varied content. You might subscribe because you like Rubik's Cubes and next thing you see some photography stuff. But you will see more music stuff on this channel and I'm working on an Ableton beginner's course that kind of follows my own philosophy of music making. So if that's something you'd want to see, be sure to subscribe as well. And yeah, I definitely recommend making one of these if you have an old guitar pickup lying around. Cheers.